Hello friends, welcome to the Azure DevOps tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will see what is the board in Azure DevOps and how we work with the boards in Azure DevOps. So basically, this board is one of the important service in Azure DevOps that is used to track the bug or the task, whatever the like basically whatever the work item we are working, it is used to track that like what is the status of that particular work item uh, the developer is currently doing and it is used to track the work using the Kanban board. So basically what the Kanban board says like if any feature or the task we have whatever we have taken like it is in done status doing status or in the testing phase or it is completed. So that all these things is tracked using the Kanban board. So Azure DevOps work in the agile mode means it work with the scrum. So basically what is the scrum? Scrum is a time period of the work like every like there is a one sprint and in that sprint basically is a 15 days and like uh, in the what is the scrum like every day we get the status of the item work item like whatever the developer have taken or the tester has taken it used to take the status every day like what is the status of this particular work item and a board contain the work backlog and it contain the dashboard so what basically this dashboard is used to contain so basically this dashboard is show the uh, like in the chart or what we can say like in the graph it uh, tell us the status of the team like in like a sprint is basically 15 days of the sprint like in the 15 days we deliver the work to the like uh, on the production so in, in like it tell us like every uh, sprint status like if there is any backlog or any like the work we are taking more than 15 days so everything it uh, like uh, hold under this dashboard and there are the reports as well like through the report like stakeholder and the top management see, can see the work progress like how the work is going on so for that purpose basically we use this board in azure devops and the next is like who work on this Azure board. So basically a full team works on the Azure DevOps like developer, tester, scrum master, PO, all these people work on the Azure boards. So basically on the Kanban board, whole team works and they can manage their work status. Like suppose a developer has taken a uh, ticket and uh, he start working on that. So what is the status of that work? Like it is in doing status or it is in like development phase status or it is done status. So whatever the status of that bug, they can keep uh, into the board. And the SM is basically a scrum master take care of the dashboard and the report for the top management that is uh, scrum master responsibility and the product owner take care of the backlog and the regression like in every sprint like when we start working on this if there is any regression so it is a product owner responsibility to create that bug and tell to the team so they can take that uh, issue as a priority and basically top management or the stakeholder is also used to see the progress of the works so like there it is uh, like what happened like if, um, uh, if any stakeholder and top management want to see like what is the work progress so they can come into the board into the kanban board like and they can see the uh, like the status of this so basically now like how this kanban board look like into the azure boards so basically like if you will go uh, here uh, like I have downloaded uh, this one so here you can see like it look like this so I will zoom it for you so here you can see like this board is like when you will click on this board and like here when you will go on the board so it look like this and here you can see the uh, tabs like new active staging deployed and even we can create our new column as per our requirement we can create the column so currently here it is looking like new active staging and deployment so if there is any new item in active means these developer are working on this because it is an active status and this is the staging and the deployed like which task is it is in the deployed so all the work status it is taken care under this board and if you want to see it you can go and like uh, currently on the board in here we can see and in like if you will click on this board you will see like here basically like let's click on this board so you will see it here like it's loading so here we we can see like currently it will be empty because we didn't create anything so here we can see like to do doing and the done 
like when we cre create any new item so it will come here we can drag and drop that item to in any column according to our requirement like to do it means the particular bug or the task or the feature we have to work if we are doing like this is uh, uh, to do item is assigned to developer so they what they can do they can drag and drop to the doing column and they can start working and once this is done what they can do they can drag and drop to the done column so that is taken care by the developers or the team member whoever have the responsibility to do that task and once we will start working with the, our work item and all these things in the later uh, videos of this tutorial series then we'll see like how we fill up this board so and th that is the thing and apart from this like uh, this is the like person who work on the board and the next is like what is the usage of the azure board so as of now we have get to know like generally this azure boards is used to like tracking the feature user story bugs and the task which is uh, taken care by the like the team and basically it is uh, taken care all these things using the kanban board and it shows the status of the work item taken by the developers like as as i have explained like once the developer take any issue they can uh, drag and drop into the doing column or done column so basically it is used to uh, the of the work item and we can manage backlog here that is the thing and higher management also can view the progress of the work item like or, or the sprint and like top management can view progress using the dashboard or the report so what generally happen like once everything is done here so it create a one dashboard and uh, like when we go on the dashboard we can see that in into the graphs and uh, like uh, here we can see like flow uh, diagram velocity so all these things of the board we can see here like how the progress is going on and we know like in visualization we can see and we can identify properly like how the status is going on so once we will start working on creating the work item in our world we will get to know more about it like now the uses of the azure boards so basically the type of the azure board it depend on the like what kind of work item process we are taking based on that the azure board created so basically there are four type of work item is available so where we can see that so once you create the project like we go here and like this is the project for us so once we have the project and when we click on the new project so here when you see the advance in the advance we can see the different type of work item process so currently there are four type of work item process like agile basic cmmi and scrum so the based on the work item progress this azure boards uh, creates and based on that we taken care of the work so basically oh, like what i mean to say like type of the azure board depend on the work item uh, process so we will see like all these work item process in the coming videos like how it uh, differ with it for the different different type of the work item process so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt